What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm moving into my college apartment. My car, it is packed to the brim. I don't think we could shove one more thing in here if we tried. It's so full and the trunk, you best believe, is completely packed. And we have a three and a half, four hour drive to Austin. I'm in Dallas right now and I'm just moving all of my stuff into my new college apartment. And I also have to stop at a storage unit and grab more things and put that in my apartment too. So my two other roommates, Melanie and Chloe, are already moved in. They moved in yesterday and I move in today. Is this bad mobility or am I swole? Bad mobility. What do you mean? Where's my arm supposed to go? He can't even reach his own seatbelt. Look at this. this well, camera. Y'all can't see because the camera's so good. Why do you reach with your opposite arm? I reach with the same arm to grab my seatbelt. Like? No, I reach like this. Back? Yeah. Go back in a stretch and have to turn. That's what I do. Like, but like, I my tits are in the way. I don't know what to tell you. I don't have that problem. We just stopped at Bucky's little pit stop. We are, I think like an hour away, so we're more than halfway. ETA is about one o'clock, so we got like an hour and a half. Hour and a half to go. Ooh, that looks good. A chicken wrap. I just got grapes and hard boiled eggs with my little gas station run. And then I also have that Olipop. I stopped at Brood and Press before we like left Dallas, my favorite little coffee spot that I always get like those juices from. And I got a matcha and it was really good with oat milk. I've been on a matcha kick lately. So I just grabbed these because it's gonna be easy to like snack on while I'm driving. And hour and a half, baby, and we'll be there. You hungry? No, they're not hungry. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's good eats. No. This is good eats. I forgot to explain what Bucky's is, and I feel like you guys need to know. It literally is a gas station on crack. There's a bakery, a deli, make your own coffee. They have breakfast sandwiches, breakfast tacos, pork sandwich. Like, they literally have everything, and every little snack you could ever imagine. A huge section of drinks and stuff, and it has, like... Clothes. It's the biggest gas station in America. Is it actually? If you're like road tripping or something and you're in Texas, you have to stop at Bucky's. Like it's just a non-negotiable. You just have to go. Banana pudding, busting. And then they busting. had their wraps and sandwiches I hear are good. I've never had them. I mean I had it's a bite of his, but so good. It was good. Oh my god. It was so fun. Okay, so we just dropped off my car full of stuff at my apartment and now we came to the storage unit to get the second load of stuff. See ya, Court. <laughs> oh my god, how far is it gonna go? That's creepy. Bye. Uh, Done. What if all my stuff is stolen? Oh god, is that gonna fit in my car? Hopefully. I haven't like unpacked anything yet. I just have all my boxes and bags and everything just sitting in my room. So I will show you guys when I get back to my apartment what it's looking like and then I'll put her all together and show you the aftermath. But we also have to go grocery shopping because obviously I don't have any groceries and I just need like a few things like towels and freaking toilet paper to wipe our dirty butts. And that's it. Big things first. All right, so what? I'm sweating. Moving is a workout. This is everything in my room so far. We just unloaded all the boxes and everything that I have. A lot of this is just full of clothes, which I have an excessive amount of. Now we gotta go grocery shopping. So I'll see you there. Okay, here is my massive grocery haul. 
I got some hangers and we got some more things that are in the freezer already for Jay. He just got some like meats and stuff. But I'm gonna go through super quick everything that I got. All right, starting off strong, we got some extreme wellness tortillas and then some Siete taco seasoning. We're gonna be making tacos with ground beef, quinoa, chia seeds for oatmeal and peanut butter balls, some sweet potatoes for my carb source with whatever meal I'm having, red onion to cut up and put in breakfast or salads, a bunch of avocados for avocado toast. It was two for eight for ice cream, so I'm like, why not get some Halo Pop? And then I got salmon to put in the salads instead of chicken this time. I got some baby carrots salad mix. I got spring mix. Some peppers that I'm gonna cut up and put in the salads and breakfast. Some eggs for the avocado toast. I'll probably have eggs too, or just make hard boiled eggs out of them. Gala apples to snack on, the best apple. Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips. I don't know why I'm holding this like this, but I'm gonna be making peanut butter balls with these. I posted the recipe on my TikTok before, so you can just search in the recipes tab if you wanna go see that. And then I got some random things like makeup wipes, hair ties, pens, pencils, a loofah, scrubby thing. Honey, also for the protein bites, peanut butter bites, whatever. Edamame is a great source of protein, so usually I just throw this entire pack in the microwave and steam it. It's 360 calories and then 40 grams of protein for this entire bag, which is crazy for a vegetable. I also got butternut squash, which I'm gonna put in the salads. Some more frozen veggies for whatever I'm feeling um, for salads as well. All the veggies, I just load up my salads with, my nourish bowls with, you guys already know. Frozen blueberries for my protein oatmeal, in case I wanted that instead of the avocado toast in the morning. This is the bread that I got. Honestly, I don't usually get gluten-free bread. I usually get Ezekiel bread or Days Killer bread, but Target was out of like all the bread, so I just got this plain gluten-free bread. I've never tried this before. Hopefully it's solid. Some hot chocolate mix because I've been digging hot chocolate at night just to like hear my sweet tooth. Jay got some pasta sauce so that is not mine. That's also Jay's. I got this Primal Kitchen ketchup which is the one that I normally always get. It's unsweetened and organic. It has only a couple simple ingredients in it so this is the one that I tend to go with. I put ketchup on everything so that's just versatile. And then some pickles because I'm obsessed with pickles. This is the best salsa if y'all are in Texas. The Clint's I get the medium, it's so fire. And then I got this body scrub, the Dr. Teal's. I'm obsessed with lavender, so this is gonna be good in the shower. And then I was looking for like a clean shampoo and conditioner, so I got this brand, which I've never seen before at Target. It's tea tree and matcha, and it has very clean ingredients, no sulfates, parabens, blah, blah, blah. So I got that stuff. Tea tree is like a minty scent. It's my favorite, it's so yummy. Besides lavender, I guess. Some more moisturizing cream for my face. Sometimes the Skin Farm brightening lotion isn't like thick enough, so I just get this stuff because it's like thicker. I also got quick oats for my protein oatmeal. This is for my matcha in the morning. I just got some oat milk spray olive oil to cook with. I got some almond butter instead of peanut butter just because I've been liking the blueberry muffin protein powder from Beam with the almond butter. I think it's literally amazing. This is my favorite kombucha, the hum kombucha, so I got these two. Some laundry detergent. This is just like a pretty clean, simple ingredient laundry detergent. 100% natural, you know, all the good things. Some lotion and then other random things like garbage bags, dishwasher pods, Jay's ass wipes, and then these command strips to- No, what? <laughs> Get out of here. And then these strips are just to hang up my whiteboard calendar thing, just to have me organized, so I need that on my wall. And then I also got some candles because why not? I, don't, I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to have candles in my apartment, but we'll keep it a secret between you and I. Yeah. So, it smells so good. It's like cinnamon, pumpkin. Definitely perfect for fall. Yeah, that smells so good. And then I also got a lavender one. Yummy. Oh, literally smells amazing. I got so many lavender things. Oh, and I also got a ginormous Brita. So I figured this one would be the easiest just to put in my fridge and have this little spout. 25 cups worth and I drink a shit ton of water. So I'm like, I need a big one. And then it has a spout, so I don't even have to take it out. I can just like put my cup under and fill up my water bottle or whatever. And then I got some notebooks. Yeah, I'm really unprepared for school. All I got was pens, pencils, and four notebooks. Can you tell it's my senior year? And then I just need to unload all of this other stuff. But for the most part, I think everything is like here in my apartment. I just need to put everything away now. How's the lighting? 
So I will show you guys when everything is put together and my apartment looks cute. Okay, you guys, it's actually been a couple days because I was still getting furniture in for my apartment. So I'm just finishing up putting everything together right now. I just got a dresser in from Amazon. I'll link everything in my Amazon storefront in the description below. And y'all can like shop some of the items that I get if you want to. One of my favorite pastimes is going through people's Amazon storefronts and buying things. That might be a good thing or a bad thing that I just linked that for you guys. But I'll show you an entire tour of my room and then my apartment, like the kitchen and everything. It's still in the works. Not everything that we want here is here. Like we still want to decorate the living room a little bit more so it's just more homey. I want to get a TV for my room so it feels more homey. Even though I don't really watch TV that often, I feel like it like, I don't know. It just makes you want to like cuddle up in bed and like throw on like a YouTube video or something. I don't know, bro. Like, you know what I mean? So... For the most part, everything is here. I think I have everything that I need, like all the essentials, but like it just comes down to decoration and just like little things, I guess. I'm so excited about this room. It's so spacious. I freaking love it. So I got this huge ass, well, it's not that big. It's only three drawers. It's a dresser. It's just heavy as fuck. So we're gonna figure out how to put it together. Okay, I'm someone who never reads the manual when putting anything together, but we're gonna figure this out. Also, I'm wearing this outfit right now, first of all, because I just got it in the mail and I wanted to put it on because it's so freaking cute. It's my favorite color in the whole world. It was gifted to me. I'm not getting paid to say this, but I am literally obsessed with this fabric and I needed more biker shorts because I am getting into cycling. Actually, I'm in my cycling era. I've been going to Soul Cycle very often. Um, I used to go to Cycle Bar, but now since I switched over to Soul Cycle, I'm not going back. I'm never going back. Soul Cycle is so much more fun. The only bad part is I have to drive all the way to downtown Austin to take the classes, and it's like 30, 35 minutes away, so it's kind of far, but it's so worth it. So yeah. These are the biker shorts that I'll be wearing to my cycling class today. And I'm in a weightlifting class right now at school. So I literally just hit my workout this morning at 9 a.m. It was back and shoulders and it was a solid ass workout. My professor or instructor, he's actually a grad student. So my teacher or whatever is an ex-marine and he's putting us through like these hard workouts in the morning. So I don't even have to like weightlift. I don't weightlift that much, but I'm just going to weightlift on Mondays and Wednesdays when I have that class and then maybe... Like on the weekend, if Jay comes, I'll work out with him too. But for the most part, I'm like running and walking, doing cycling, and I freaking love it. Like I feel like I have way more energy than when I was just weightlifting. I don't know why, because all the things that I'm doing is probably burning more calories than when I was weightlifting. But I feel like so energetic. Like, okay, so don't fuck with me. So this looks like a lot of pieces that I don't know how to put together. You know what? I'll be back once I put this together. Okay, it's been like two minutes and I've just unboxed a couple pieces. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know how to put this together. There's nails and screws and things. There must be instructions somewhere, but I think I'm gonna have to wait for someone to help me. Oh, I really wanna put this together though. I think I can do it. Maybe. I told her to buy it while I was in town so that I would just build it for her. She wouldn't have to worry about anything. What did she do? Since I ordered it on Amazon after I left. Well, we didn't have time to go get it, so that's not my We couldn't make time. And then what happens is she calls me and tells me she doesn't know there's too many pieces. <laughs> well, shit. That's a lot of pieces. And I don't even have, I don't even own a screwdriver. Well, you're going to have to fix that. Screwdriver is the only thing you need. I don't know. <laughs> well, we're gonna try to figure this out because I really want to put this up because I have a shit ton of clothes that are just laying in my closet that need to go somewhere. Everything else is hung up, but I have a suitcase full of clothes that need to fit in here. Also, more shorts. So I just have so much clothes and I needed to get a dresser for that reason. This is a little complex. This is where my dad would come in and help me or... This or your boyfriend. Okay, step one. Let's read the directions. Fuck. 
Okay, it came with a screwdriver hidden in here. So now I just have to find the the manual. And what the manual is gonna say is you have to connect piece A to piece B and then use piece C to connect A to piece B. Wait, where are the fucking instructions? I can figure this out. I'm at literally acting like a pussy. I got this. Got him, baby. Even though I already knew it was gonna say A to B, B to C, C to D, D D. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Follow the instructions with the little screwdriver and we're gonna put this hoe together. Okay, I'm a pussy. I was trying to figure it out for <laughs> at least 20 minutes, this man. And I couldn't figure it out. So that's that. I'm gonna slide all the pieces under my bed because this is embarrassing. I couldn't figure this out. It's kind of irritating me. So I'm gonna save myself the hassle and I'm gonna put all the pieces under my bed, but I will show you guys the rest of my room and downstairs. What do we do with our problems? We hide them. This is like a moment of shame. I couldn't figure this out. Well, I could if I really, really put my mind to it and spent like an hour or two making this happen but it would be in my best interest to just save it for someone else to do let's not let's not look at this because that's just disappointing now i just have a dirty ass rug with a bunch of little packing peanut pieces on my rug. Besides the dresser not being put up, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my room. So here's my closet, which is very, very spacious. I'm so lucky I have a huge closet this year. So I hung up most of my clothes and then I have like more storage up here. When my dresser gets put up, then I'm gonna use that to put all this extra clothes in as well as all my shorts that just got separated over here. I have this dresser. I have this little incense thing which you put essential oils and water in and it diffuses the scent into the air which I really like this one and then I have a lavender candle the best smelling scent ever so I have everything like pretty much organized in all of my drawers all my leggings and sweatpants and stuff are in these drawers right now so I need to separate everything else once I get the dresser put up. Here's my bed. This pillow is my favorite investment ever. I think I got this from Walmart. It's so cozy to like sit up in bed with it and do homework or watch TV or anything because it is like a the shape of the pillow like lets you sit up. Actually maybe it's from Target. I got this from Target. This I got from Walmart. This body pillow just because I needed something more. I just needed another pillow. Also from Target, this cute little lamp that just touches right here. Fake plant, Target. <laughs> another candle because it is fall now. A pumpkin shortbread scent. And then here's my desk. I just have like all of my homework stuff on here. And then my laptop, Wi-Fi, my mic for my podcast. Stay tuned. And then a little speaker. I have my whiteboard, but unfortunately I lost my dry erase marker. So I need to find one or buy a new one. And then I have everything usually organized during the week. I will literally put everything that I need to do on each day and like when things are due and then notes on the side of like things that I need to do too. Super helpful. This is like my favorite thing in the whole world. I like it better than having a planner just because I can see it every day. Like when I wake up, when I come in my room, like it's always right there. So highly recommend that you guys get a whiteboard or some sort of board to like write your goals and things to do on it so yeah it's very very spacious and then i also have this other closet that i just have shoes in i got this shoe organizer from amazon as well and i really like it i saw that it has dowels right here so you can even add on so i'm probably going to get more pieces for this rack once i get more shoes to just like keep building up from or maybe just like put to the side or something and then here is my bathroom. These mats are also from Target. I feel like everything is literally from Target. I didn't wanna get super expensive stuff for my college apartment. I knew it was gonna get trashed. I feel like I feel like it's not kept in the best condition, especially when you live with other people and there's other people coming in. It's not the smartest to get the best things or expensive things for your apartment when you're in college. So I'm just saving that for the time that I'm living alone. So all the accents are gold, green, white, 
very neutral and like minimalist. I love the minimalist vibe. As you can tell, I love green, little green accents. I even literally match my room right now. Little makeup organizer. I don't like to have a whole lot of things on my bathroom counter. So I just have my makeup and soap. And then the rest of the things are under here. It's a little unorganized because there's so much stuff. This cabinet is not very big, but I got this organizer. I thought I was gonna be able to put it up here on my counter, but it just looked awkward and like big. So I kept it down here below the sink, which is what it's made for actually. So you can pull this out and it's all my skincare and then my supplements. And then on the top, it's just like random stuff and then cleaning supplies in the way back because I don't use them that frequently. Like I only have to take it out like once a week or whatever, where this stuff I use every single day. So I just have it on this little pull-out rack. Yeah, just more stuff, kind of messy, but yeah. Hamper for dirty clothes. And then let me take you guys downstairs just for a little quick view of what we got going on so far. So here's our little living area. The apartment complex actually came with this furniture, which I'm super glad so we didn't have to buy new furniture. I got these, what are these called? Coasters. It fits like the Austin area and the things that are in San Mo. If y'all are from San Mo, you will recognize every single one of these things. So super cute little coasters that a cute little addition. And then here's our huge kitchen. Little kitchen table in the most spacious kitchen ever. We have all the space and storage we need and there's so many cabinets and stuff. Got my espresso machine over here. I have my juicer below because I am not gonna use it that much. And then all my beam supplements and then some cooking stuff back there. This cabinet, full of Gila mixes and other cups. I love cups with a straw, so that's literally like all of my cups that I have. And then those are mini little juice holders that I got from the cafe that I used to go to in Dallas all the time. I actually just kept the glass jars, ran them through the dishwasher and peeled the sticker on the outside off. So I'm gonna be able to reuse those for juices and stuff. Air fryer necessity and then yes, everything's just very organized in here. We have a big pantry. And then this deck like looks outside. So maybe, maybe not. We might get furniture, we might not. I'm not sure. Just to put out here. I don't know. I don't know how often I'll actually go outside, but that's that. Okay, here's the bathroom. Yo. <laughs> we literally locked ourselves out of the bathroom, the guest bathroom. Okay, but luckily there's a little hole in the doorknob so we can like pick at it with maybe like a bobby pin or something. I can't believe that, that's so funny. There's not much in there, but nice. And then downstairs is my other roommate's room and then the washer and dryer. So yeah, that's my cute little college apartment. So exciting, I love it. I love how spacious this room is. Like we have so much storage and stuff. And this is definitely an upgrade from my old apartment last year because it was very last minute moving down here last year. So I ended up moving in with two random roommates and a place that wasn't ideal. I didn't really have a lot of options when I was picking apartments because I signed on so late that most of the apartments were taken already. But now I'm rooming with two of my friends and we have this huge, beautiful apartment. And college apartments, this is really modern. And it's really nice and I really like it, but college apartments don't have the best quality of things. You can tell the bathroom sink is very, small. The plumbing isn't ideal. The furniture isn't the best furniture. You know what I mean? Like it's not great quality, but it's just there and it's modern. So it looks good. It's just the quality is lacking. But yeah, that's my little apartment. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to be recording a full day of a college student because those are like my favorite videos to do because there's so much going on in my day. Last year at school, baby. Big senior. Once I get my other dresser put up, I'm going to put it in this closet. Back in this space so it's out of the way because I don't know where else to put it. So I'm probably just going to keep it in my closet for now. Yes. But let me know if you guys want to see the full day of a college student day in the life type videos or what other videos you would rather see let me know in the comments below make sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything to do so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said i'll link all of the things that i bought in my amazon storefront because most of the things are from amazon i hope to get a tv maybe mount it and then a large full body mirror to put somewhere so those are the only two other big things that i want to get in this room I think, but for now we just have the basics, the necessities, and 
we're comfy. We're, we're chilling. We're cozy. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you next time. I love you, 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 I love you,